Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Ryan Knows Tech with TechInform.us. I want to apologize for not making a video yesterday. If you're anything like me, you probably opened your subscription box. It was flooded with recaps of the iPhone 4S and all of the stuff that Apple released yesterday. And quite frankly, you, as did I, probably got sick of that. And I don't blame you. Why would you watch another video like that? We all know what happened. Let's stop drilling it into the ground. Anyways, I wanted to put in some very quick thoughts uh, from me personally about what happened yesterday. I know you probably don't want to hear it. Thanks for clicking the video anyways. And I also want to announce that I'm going to be hosting a live uh, web stream on the Tech Inform uh, Ustream. It's ustream.tv slash user slash Tech Inform us or techinform.us forward slash or back whatever slash live. Um, that will be held kind of tomorrow night, technically Friday morning. I'm gonna start the stream probably 2 a.m. Uh, since we can begin ordering the phone at 12.01 a.m. Pacific time, which on the west or on the east coast over here in Ohio um, is 3.01 in the morning. Great, cannot wait to get up Friday morning, five hours later and, and try to go to school. But uh, you know, us iPhone people must do what we must do. Uh, so anyways, that stream will probably start at two. Um, if if I change my mind, there's gonna be a big annotation right here that you've probably been looking at, uh, changing my mind and maybe one or 2.30 or whatever, uh, going through probably about 3.15 when I just slam the MacBook Pro shut and go to bed muttering cuss words. Uh, so if you'd like to come and join me, I'm, I'm gonna guess that a lot of my followers here uh, are going to be up and ordering this phone with me. Uh, I thought it might be a cool idea to have a live stream and just be able to talk a little bit about what we're excited about and maybe if there's problems on the first one in the stream, I'll give you a free iPhone. No, I'm kidding. It's not going to happen. But I have already sold my existing iPhone 4, so don't ask, please. I sold it on Gazelle. I actually needed the money since AT&T is not doing the free upgrades, so it's going to be $250 unless your two-year contract is up. So that just sucks. But uh, as I said before, we must do what we must do. Anyways, iPhone 4S, dual-core A5 chip, new 8-megapixel camera. Uh, it's got the Siri um, voice stuff. It's a it's a formidable upgrade. And don't be the person that just says, well, this is what the iPhone 4 should have been. There, we didn't really have dual core phones back then. The five megapixel camera in here was incredible. So don't say that, that's not true. Um, if you're gonna say it's not a big upgrade, um, I disagree with you for the, I, I would definitely take advantage of an A5 chip. Definitely, I'd take a lot of pictures on here. Definitely take advantage of the camera and definitely take advantage of the voice control system. I will not text and drive, so if I have a text, uh, when I'm driving the car, I've either got to pull over or wait till a red light, which usually isn't long enough and isn't as safe as pulling over. So um, that's going to be really cool for me to be able to talk to my phone and, and let it do for me what I would like to be doing but should not and will not be doing while driving and, and of course, mowing lawns and well, without the mower noise and stuff like that as well. But I'm uh, actually very excited for the iPhone 4S. My iPhone 4 is relatively slow. I feel that it's a little old. Um, and I think this is gonna be a great upgrade to bring the iPhone back up to the top because right now there's a lot of competitors that uh, in many aspects have killed the iPhone 4 with the dual cores and some of them may think they have better cameras. I haven't quite seen one myself yet, uh, but I am excited for the iPhone 4S. Yes, I'll be getting one. That live stream again is tomorrow night, technically Friday morning, 2 a.m. Uh, East Coast time, which is 11 p.m. West Coast time if you're smart and wealthy and live over there. Uh, so they did this. They also refreshed the iPod Touch and Nano. The Touch, it looks like all they did was lower the price. Great, you know, price um, lowerifications. If I'm George Bush, uh, are, those are excellent to lower the price and make it more competitor, competitive for people to buy. And they also added a white one to the lineup. So I guess that might be good. No word if it has the A5 yet. They actually didn't say, I don't know. We're going to have to wait for a teardown. They also touched the iPod Nano. They made it cheaper as well, I'm pretty sure. They give it a slightly new interface and some clock faces. So I guess that's cool too. I'm not the biggest fan of the Nano. They did not touch or kill or do anything with the... Um, the Shuffle and the Classic, they're still available. So if you were looking for one of those, then you're in luck. Aside from that, they talked about a card app. Um, and I think that is everything. I don't think I missed anything real big here. Um, but um, Apple new C the new Apple CEO, Tim Cook, he seems like a really great guy. I like the way he delivered the presentation. Of course, he's no Steve Jobs. Nobody's going to live up to him. Um, I wish they had mentioned him yesterday or done a FaceTime call or something with him, but I guess they couldn't. So uh, just some of my thoughts. I think it was a solid upgrade, and I, I hate it when the people say uh, it's it's just uh, the, the S stands for same. It's not an upgrade. Look at the specs. It's not all about specs, though. It is a better phone regardless. Is it, for me, $549 better? Debatably, but I got 206 for mine, as I said, from Gazelle. So uh, I'll take it.
Anyways, my thoughts. I hope to see you in the live stream. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to be there. I'll put all the links on the specific and the time specifics and the times and everything down below in the description box as usual. And I will talk to you guys in tomorrow, uh, Thursday's video, and then tomorrow night. I'll mention this again tomorrow. Um, I will probably be very tired, and uh, we'll talk about the iPhone 4S. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Like this video. Leave me a comment. Check out our website. It's techinform.us. We have not had a chance to cover this story yet. I feel that it is... Okay, yes, we have. But I feel it is uh, completely overkilled everywhere. Everybody copies the same graphics from Apple and, and goes over the same specs, and we've heard this already. It's been on friggin' CNN. Anyways, um, off on a tangent. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys tomorrow.